Here at Quince in San Francisco, wine is the major star of the beverage program, but because of its high acidity, Den Sake has made the list. Let's check in with their sommelier now. This is a restaurant that is very, very wine focused. And Yoshi kind of like got the, the door open to, to be included yeah. in your tasting menu, right? So we have one tasting menu for the evening and then we offer a wine and sometimes other beverage pairings. So we kind of came to a dish that needed something a little different. So this dish came out, it was called uh, Wild Nettles. It had potato, oyster, basically uh, a, a kind of a different version of a, a chowder. So we were tasting all of these wines with it and uh, nothing was really, really working out uh, for us. And so when you tasted that Den Sake, what were the flavors in that sake in particular that worked with this particular dish? Oddly enough, uh, there was this banana and tropical note in this sake that I, I just kind of fell in love with. And for me, it was a very textural pairing. That's what we were missing with wine or other beverages. It kind of just enveloped the oyster. It had enough acidity to cut through the creamy aspect of the dish. And that banana note kind of worked with the, the wild nettle, which is notoriously a difficult ingredient to pair with. Like artichokes or something it's like something that? It's something like that. Artichoke, eggplant, those kind of ingredients. The densake, it came in here. It was perfect. It was received well. That's what makes that sake so unique, is that it can kind of cut through those richer elements, which you would normally never be able to do with the sake. 